God bless every one of you that are in my listening audience. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Though this is a very trying day for many, but yet the Spirit of God is in the land. God is moving by His Spirit, and the people of God are blessed. Today, I'm going to rehearse and to remind you of another topic that we have dealt with periodically concerning eugenics, which is population control. Under that heading of eugenics, I'm reminded and also reminding you concerning euthanasia. Euthanasia is when doctors or others decide that a person is going to die. Well, it is documented that people, particularly from the poor sector, people that are poor, many times it is decided that they will die. One form or another of death takes hold to their lives and to their bodies. Some years ago, a few years ago, the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me to cry loud and to spare not concerning issues, I-S-S-U-E-S. And one of the issues that has been dealt with is euthanasia. Let me say this to you, people of God. Be very cautious. Be very careful. And understand that you, as a person, you can be classified as a commodity. So, therefore, you want to be very mindful as you go about. You want to watch your thought life. Don't give up. Never give up. When life becomes so hard, turn to Jesus Christ. Jesus is our answer. Jesus is our way. Jesus is the truth that can set you and me free. The word was made flesh. And the flesh of the Son of God lived among people. Jesus declared as being among the people. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. But he was declaring that he is the answer. He's the answer. People do not have to die many times the way that they are, I would say, invited to give up on life. Just end it all, man. You ain't got to, you know... Some even people on the Internet, it has been found that people on the Internet are drawn into suicide. So therefore, we want to be very mindful of the fact that the spirit of death is in the land. And there are people that will take advantage of your death. They will take a dollar type advantage of your death to suggest to your family that your body be donated or that they just don't have to worry about a funeral. They can just donate your body. No. Get God in your life. Let Jesus be your answer. 
Hallelujah. His love will supply you. The power of God will move in your behalf as you look to the Lord. Yes, his love is reaching out to you today. If you are a person that has been bothered with thoughts of suicide, ah, the power of God is moving for you today. Suicide is not the answer. Self-murder is not the answer. But there is a greater life in Jesus Christ that it is available to you. So therefore, amen, as it has been thousands of years, even so it is now. Jesus is our way. He's our answer. Amen. Repent and believe the gospel. Become godly sorrow. Sorry, rather. Just ask the Lord. Say, Lord, forgive me for my sins. Forgive me for those things that I have done. And help me to live for you. And you know what? The light of Jesus Christ will shine on you. The light of Jesus Christ will shine in your life, in your heart, in your situation. And he will deliver. Hallelujah. God loves you. The Bible said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And in the name of Jesus, we rebuke the spirit of death that is against our young people. There are many young people that are committing suicide. We rebuke that right now. In the name of Jesus, we curse the plan of Satan through the medium of euthanasia that is in the medical field that would draw even young people into their magnetism to decide toward death. We curse that in the name of Jesus. The power of the living Christ prevails now in Jesus' name. Praise God. Again, Jesus is our way. He's our way out. He's our way up. Turn to the Lord. Amen. If you have not fully given your life to the Lord Jesus. And if you are saved, let me remind you. In the world, we shall have tribulation. In the world, trouble is going to hit us all. But in Jesus, amen, we have abundant life. In him, our needs are supplied. Food, shelter, clothes, and let me add, joy. Hallelujah. In the Lord, you can have joy, which is our strength. So as I stop, amen, turn to the Lord. And I'm asking you, amen, to send an email to ApostleJM at gmail.com. A-P-O-S-T-L-E-J-M at gmail.com. And we will direct you, amen, and we will help you, amen, that someone can come alongside in your life and help you to walk with God. Well, love you. Stay encouraged. God bless.